Okay, this is the case now we've got to clean up. Uh, it's pretty dirty. A lot of stuff missing, pieces missing off. There's a couple of pieces of wood that have to be put in here. One that goes on the bottom, one goes underneath. Uh, just generally very dirty. I think I'm going to start out by just wiping everything down with a uh, with a damp cloth and see what we go from from there. Okay, there's some nails in there. I think I'll take those nails out of there first. Uh, we can install those later. Okay. I think the next thing I'll do is unscrew, the, take the door off, so we separate those two. We have six screws to take out of here. Sticky as heck. can see just looking at stuff here the hinges themselves have got goop on them somebody has painted this with a varnish stain so I'm thinking to really restore this we just need to sand this down or strip this down yeah this has been you see here, look at the varnish stain all over that, that hinge, those hinges. Somebody's just painted this with a varnish stain, so we're probably going to end up stripping this uh, just so we can restore it to something original. This looks terrible. There are little strips of wood here, 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 over here and here, as well as down here. These look like these are maybe new. Anyway, we're going to take those out so we can get the glass out. And I'll we'll take those out with a buddy knife and we get in. Pop those free.
will probably end up stripping this. It's all peeling off anyway. This black is peeling off. And maybe we'll get a transfer to put on here. Somebody has painted this with gold paint in the past. So we'll work with that glass. Set it aside. Part of these feel like they're half glued in because somebody just painted varnish over them. Anyway, we'll work those out. Had to get this bottom glass out, get the strips off. The problem we got, oh look, there's a nail stuck in there. Here, that's holding this glass from coming out. I can't lift this all the way. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. I can get it. There we go. There's that one out. Back in. Okay, anyway. Now we have the door separated. And we'll be able to work with it separately. And we need to take this catch off here. That's all done with. A flathead screw. That's okay. Okay. I'll clean that up. I'll set this aside for right now. I'll clean it up later. Let me start working with this. We'll check this all out, make sure everything's tight. Okay, this is not the original. This is just a. Screw We need to. There's a piece of brass left there. That used to be the original catch. We'll have to remanufacture that catch. And it's held with a screw. Have to figure out how that was originally. I won't do that one. nail in for the other one. We'll keep this piece so we can see if we can redetermine what the catch originally looked like. Okay, there we go. There's the piece that was in there, so brass. And there we go. We just need to clean this up. Back of the clock has had a bunch of nails put in it to tighten things up. Take the hanger out. That's got to come out. It has a label on it. The number of the clock, the model number is 3022. It is a Gilbert. And uh, I think what we're going to do is going to take that back off. Because the bottom pieces, or top pieces, are kind of loose. I just need to Take this apart, re-glue, put new uh, nails in or re-nail it, re-glue it so that it's a little at least tight. And we can clean it up at that point too. And there are the bottom plate on this. It's cracked into two pieces. There are two pieces originally. I think what we'll do is we'll take these off, glue these two back together, 
Throw these two back together. They are loose. It makes the whole case wobbly. These are coming apart at the top, so we'll continue to just take this case apart and do some re-gluing on it. Get it back together, and then we'll see about stripping it. Okay, we glued that back together. It's looking pretty good. We got to sand it down. Get this excess off of here. Okay, we want to preserve what's left of that label, and uh, I'm not interested in putting a new label on it, if I could even find one. So I've got some tight bond glue, diluted with water, and I'm just going to go around all the edges, let that glue soak into the, under the edge, glue everything down. So I draw that right under there. It's watered down enough. Just draw it in there. And lower that down. Preserve it. It's a preservative layer over the paper. Keeps it from breaking down. Okay, this watered down stuff dries pretty fast. And that will at least save what label was there. That'll be fairly clear. Yes. The label's really getting <laughs> turned to dust. This will save what can be saved. Okay. Let's just let that harden. That'll be all there is to it. screwed back on and we got the door drying and 
let this bottom, this stuff dry for a while and then we'll be back. Okay, I've got parts glued. Let's uh, get this up for a while. Let's see what we got. cleaning this ready to move on here okay we got these two pieces put back together now yeah glued there were two nails that went in here there was some warp in here so I put a brass wood screw in there to try to keep that warp from getting any worse same here put brass wood screw here and here Put a brass wood screw here and here. One here. I may take that now. I may put another one in here just to keep that from warping. Okay, this is the top, and you can see there's a screw hole here. Nail or screw hole there. Big screw hole here. And that's underneath where this trim goes. So this has to go onto the case before the trim can be put on. stained again. Put this on, let it sit for 5-15 minutes and wipe off any excess.
That's what we're gonna end up with. Okay, there's what it's looking like so far. I gotta do the sides and inside. And then we'll put a finish coat on it. And now putting a coat after having let this sit overnight. Wiped it off with a rag. Now I'm putting a coat of polyacrylic on it. Okay, there's the case well, out the back. Sure looks one heck of a lot different than when we first got it. Looks good. And then here's the back. That's the inside. And then uh, there's the other side. Okay, and we're pretty well set. The nice part is that the case is now nice and solid. The door. I'm just really pleased with the way that looks. And, uh, we'll get the rest of this put together. Clean up the hinges. Make a new catch for here. And then we will uh, See about doing the, the dial. Got to do some, make some stencils. Okay, well, this is all set now to have the, the back. Might as well get it in there. And that's going to go right here. been put in with nails, but I think we'll probably end up using some screws to get that in there. Okay, we had the uh, hinges and the hanger soaking to get the garbage off of them. Right now I'm just taking uh, some steel wool doing some final cleaning on the hinges and we'll get those cleaned up and we'll probably put a little coating on this let's get this all cleaned up now this uh, hanger has got Quite a bit of rust on it. I can see it was blued steel. So we'll clean this up and I think we'll just chemically re blue it. Now we'll get the back on the clock. Okay, that's been thoroughly cleaned and rinsed with isopropyl alcohol. And now we'll take some of this. solution and we'll put it on here and this will help keep this from rusting again Take that and rinse it real good, dry it, 
and it will be nice and rust proof. Okay, we have the door back on now. In. We got to make a catch for the outside instead of that hook and eye that somebody put into it. Alright, I've shaped this piece of brass to make a latch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hole in here so that when this is on the side of the door, it can slide onto a little rounded nail head. And that'll catch it and then to open the door you just press this out okay so I put a round nail head here and the hole in here and so that now positively closes the door open the door tab or you can just pull it uh, definitely holds it That'll work. Okay. Put the movement in the case. And I cleaned up the pendulum. And now I've got to work on the dial. And then the glass.